Okay, everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at data, the 12th section under the R programming. Let's open the R Studio, the looking at data, <coughs> more data pre processing. So whether you are working on a new data set or not, the first thing you want to look at it. So a few ways to explore the data. So basic things. So what are the dimensions? How many rows? How many columns? What are the variables names of the data frame? Are there any missing data? Are there any flaws in the data? So what is the shape of the data? What is the dimension of the data? So a few building functions we will be looking at. Uh, planet agriculture's plant data set. So ls to list the variables in my workspace. LS workspace. Okay, what are the things here? It's basic under the environment. Is the environment of the variables, objects, functions, values. Uh, these are data frames, matrix, and these are the variables, and this is a function. By checking the class of a planet variable with plus plant. So they are already preloaded is plant. So you can actually look at it, say click view plant. So this is the viewing inside our studio. So let's say command called view plants. So you can view the plant, the data set. So a few n eights and how many columns. So this is also one very straightforward way uh, if you are using R Studio. Okay, let's first look at the class. Class plants. The plants is a data frame. Okay. There's ways to create the data frames by using read the CSV file. So create a data frame from the CSV file or read the table. Now it can be a texture file, txt file, just to create the data frame. Okay, rows and the columns. So use dimensions. How many rows, how many columns do we have? <coughs> so 5166 rows with 10 columns, 10 features. So imagine that's just a tabular two-dimensional uh, Excel table. And the rows, to find the rows, I give you a trick you can also do called string. Uh, okay, let's do this play bracket. So this is the function provided by this interactive workshop package. So when we are typing a play, now we are entering this play mode. We can experiment. Once we are finished, then we press uh, key in this next function. So I'll show you a string uh, plants. This is also one way to see that the dimension information is already there. Yeah. 5,000, no. only 5,000 observations, means records or rows, and 10 variables, 10 features, 10 columns. And what are the 10 columns and what the type of the columns, factor, numeric, integer, factor, and the integer, and so on, and a few of the uh, statistic values, measures of the, the, the different uh, columns. So they says for this factor, there's 1066 levels, and 8 levels, 8 levels, 6, and blah, blah, blah. A few of the values for the uh, for the different features or variables. Okay, screen is quite powerful. It can also do summary. Summary. Yeah, summary plots. So it will give you the numeric uh, summary of all the values. <coughs> so scientific name. For the first name, it appear one. Second name appear once. This is the unique column. Then the duration, which is numeric, uh, and this is also a factor, duration is a factor. So annual has how many number of plants? Then annual perennial, then how many of it? 
and blah blah blah. So let's look at the number. Now, so pH minimum, minimum pH value, minimum first quarter, medium third quarter, max, and how many missing values. So summary also give you a nice, uh, uh, nice summary. <clears throat> so string summary dimension. Okay. So we go back next. Go back. Okay, we are now resuming our workshop. So we can use n rows to find out the plus information. Perhaps how many observations? N column, number of columns of plants. 10, 10 variables. Now you can even find the object size. How much storage it consume? How much? Uh, Memories it consumed about 686 KB. That's nah, pretty small. Now we are in the big data. Most times we got GB data, TB data. So 600 KB is tiny, tiny. Names will give you the column names of the plot. So these are the 10 column names. Hat function give you a few, yeah, I think you are already familiar with hat. So we can skip it. So hat will give you the first few records of it. Ah, so we'll see, if there is a missing value of a numeric value, it will be NA. If there is a missing value for the factors, these are the factors, so there will be NA with the uh, smaller and the greater than sign of brackets. So the different ways to to differentiate the, the missing data for different type of you know, uh, columns and different type of vari variables. Had a preview the first ten. Okay, you can also specify head plus ten. It will specify the ten, first ten. Tail now it's tail. tail. Okay, tail. So you see the last six records, last six observations. So tail plants, let's skip. <laughs> the last 15 observations. Okay, now we can say they are using summary. <laughs> so summary. So they also see the summary. Hmm. If it's numeric, you have first quantum, medium, third quantum. Numeric. We see all those numeric features, numeric variable, numeric variables. What's next? Table. Okay. Plant active growth period. So let's have a look. Growth period. So this is active growth period. It is a factor as one, two, three, four, five, and a few uh, levels. A few levels. Factors, plants, how many levels? Active levels, eight levels. Eight levels. So let's see what tables can do magically. It's called contingency table. So table is a function to create the value frequency tables. And understand structure of data. Okay. See, for the four winter spring, it appears 15 times out of, uh, and for the spring, it appears 144 plants, different plants. For this category, spring and fall, there's 10 plants under this category, and there's a lot missing uh, categories. The plant. So if you sum up these together, it's not 5,000 because the majority are missing data. The best is the last. I think that is the string. That's a string structure. It's called structure. Plants. So this is the one. So this is the one that you can see many uh, information in one, one shot. One shot. 
Okay, structure is actually a very general function that you can use on most objects. Anytime you want to understand the structure of something, a data set, a function, structure is a good place to start. In this lesson, you have learned how to feel for the structure and the concept of a new data set. Once we get it, how to get a gross understanding of the data set you have. Uh, take time, save your time and frustration later on your analysis. So get an overall feeling of the data you are processing. Okay, this comes to the end of the this session of looking at data. So thanks for joining with me. Yeah, we'll see you next time.